welcome back to my channel you guys and today is a color review for the wig mafia's hair i've been waiting for this hair for so long and i will have my ideas and thoughts on how i feel about this hair but right now this is a tutorial for the color i use and i'm showing you guys how i colored my wig and this is a 20 inch curly pineapple um pineapple texture so i decided to do a watermelon color for the summertime and here is what the colors that i use that you're going to see so i used electric blue um not electric blue electric green pink and orange and those colors i use is arctic fox and you can get them at sally's anywhere from sally's and i have my comb my brushes my um clips and we are about to start this color process So here you can see that I am separating the hair. So I found an easier method to color hair. And basically what I do is I braid or I twist all the parts of the hair. And cause I'm doing an ombre effect. If you wasn't doing an ombre effect, you wouldn't have to do this. But since I am doing an ombre effect, I take all of the hair and I separate it in parts that I want to actually do it so I can make sure that the hair is even on all sides and that part is what I take and I twist it all the way down and the top part which this is a full lace front so with the top part that you will see how I got it sectioned off in the front I do that a certain way I do it the same way section it off in parts but that part gets sectioned off in the same parts but on their own little section if that makes sense because the lace is up there and when you're dyeing the hair you want to make sure you don't get it on the lace so that's why i have it separated from the actual hair and that's why you see me right here um parting it in three sections because this is the front part of the wig So here is where you see me about to take the color and like I said this is electric green I want to say electric green and when you dye hair you want to make sure that you get it in the front as well as the back because you want to focus on the hair the hair as a whole so you don't want to just put it on the front and not put it on the back because you do have hair in the back and most of it won't get on the flip side so that's why you see me flipping it over from front to back because i'm trying to make sure that the hair the color actually gets on the back part of the hair because you don't want to flip up your hair and it is blonde in the front i mean it's blonde in the back and green and pink in the front
So as you see, this is a closer version of me doing the colors front and back. And like I said, the colors I have is Neverland, Orange, and Electric Paradise. So Electric Paradise is the pink, the Neverland is the green, I want to say mint green color, and the orange is the orange color. And these are all Arctic Fox brand. I only deal with Arctic Fox when it comes to coloring hair because the colors don't change they don't mix together and you can sit them in your hair that you're doing and it conditions the hair and the color stays as well but that's what i'm doing i am doing the colors apart and as you when you're doing ombre you want to make sure that the colors are sync so you want to make sure you have green and at a certain point the pink ends at a certain point and the orange ends at a certain point that way it gives you that ombre effect as well as the uniform effect Okay, so this part, you can see that I am at the lace. And of course, you have to be very delicate with the lace. And at the beginning of this video, you see that I have poured hairspray, got to be glued hairspray on my lace front. So that way, if I do have any accidents, such as my baby hairs or when I just let the hair sit, so it can soak in, the um, dye can soak in, when I wash my hair out, which you will see later on in the video, you will see that none of the dye has gotten on my lace front because I sprayed that hairspray on there. And right here you can see I am spraying some more hairspray. But like I said, in order for the dye not to get on the lace front, which you do not want that happening at all, is um, spray some 
spray on there and try to do it as close as possible but don't get it on the lace because you don't want to stain your lace and after you finish with your hair you don't want your lace to be mint green or whatever color that you're doing and you can't get that out
so as you guys can see my lovely lovely wig is all finished and this is a turnaround view and how I did the ombre method and here you can clearly see of what I mean as everything uniform so the back is longer than the front as color wise because of course it is the back and then once you start getting to the top the pink became longer than the green <clears throat> and they're all uniform as one it don't look like it here because i do have some spaces flipped over because of my lace but like i said you can see the orange is with the orange the pink is with the pink and the green is with the green you probably wonder why I have these clamps right here. I do have these those clamps because I don't want the dye to get onto my lace. So I did clamp my hair back <clears throat> and to the side. And here's a close up of what you can see of the lace as well. You can see that I did get some dye on the lace, but in a later part of the video, I will show you how to get that dye off the lace. So here we are. This is the next day. Me personally, I like to leave my wigs, the color on it for about a day, a day and a half. That's why it looks like this when I put it in the water. So the shampoo that you would need is the Shimmering Lights for the lace. And I know some of you probably like what well, Shimmering Lights is to get the bleach off. But since I did put this hairspray on there, it's going to also, when I put the shimmering lights on the lace part, it's also going to take off my dye. So that's a good trick for you. As well as I use the Ion shampoo, the Color Safe shampoo, as well as the Ion Reconstructionist shampoo for the hair to make it back soft. Now with this hair, I did get some shedding for when I was washing it I did get some shedding for it as well as when I was actually doing my hair dyeing it I did get shedding for that as well so shedding does come with this hair I don't know if it's because it is the curly version of the hair but I did receive shedding not that much but it was enough shedding and you can see here how I put the shimmering lights on the lace <clears throat> I don't think I recorded the part where you see me put the ion shampoo on the hair but I did put the ion shampoo as well as the reconstruction and shampoo so my colors can stay the same as well as it can condition my hair as well I also leave everything in the description below for you guys to buy. I buy everything at Sally's and this is what my hair is looking like at the end. You can see I do have some blonde spots so I do have to go back in and redo that when it dries. I let my hair dry overnight and yeah.